This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're here with eFun at, uh, this is the uh, next book series of Android 4.0 tablets that range in size from 7 inches to 8 inches to 9.7 inches. This is the smallest model, which is going to have a base price of, you said, 179 or? Uh, no, uh, 149, 149 and 129 on that. Okay, so, um, and it's, this is a, a pre-production unit, it's going to be available in uh, February or so, and the software might be, uh, fit the screen a little bit better by that point, but it's uh, got some interesting things going for it. So it's got an ARM Cortex A8 single core processor, an 800, for, uh, 800 by 480 pixel display. You can see that some of the icons are a little bit small. I don't know if the final software will uh, help them look like that. Or, okay. Um, and uh, you can zoom to full screen or stretch to full screen if you're running different applications that aren't designed for this type of screen. Although 800 by 480, most phone applications should look pretty good on a tablet as well. Um, let's see if there's, um, there's the... application. So let's take a look at a couple of photos here. Uh, it seems pretty responsive overall and supports multi-touch. Yes, how, how, many, how many fingers? As many as you can put. <laughs> okay. I'll say. Okay. And, okay, so it definitely does two finger multi-touch and we think it'll do more than that. And uh, we got pinch to zoom. And I'm also noticing that if we go to the app list here, that it has the uh, Google Android Market. So it's certified for Google to, to use the Android Market? Uh, for the uh, Elasiris, yes. Okay. And, um, okay, so that's the seven inch model and it has, in terms of, uh, we got speakers on the side here, volume and power button, um, that's an HDMI port, USB port, uh, is that the charging port, I think, and a headphone, is there a headphone jack? Here's the headphone jack and uh, micro SD card slot. Yes. And the uh, larger model has the same basic uh, processor, but a yes. higher resolution screen, right? 1024 by 600. Um, also has the same ports on the side. Uh, speaker. And volume buttons. And then this is the 9.7 inch version, which has a 1024 by 768 pixel display. Uh, this version also has icons on the side with capacitive uh, touch interface. Is the final version going to have the capacitive buttons? No, no. Okay. No. So this is just the demo unit. Eventually, we're going to have a button-free design like uh, other Android tablets, um, and that allows you to rotate the screen, for instance, and the home, back, and other buttons are going to be able to rotate with you. Um, so these all have ARM Cortex A8 single-core processors. There will also be a version available with a dual-core processor uh, probably in March or April, and that version is going to run uh, 229 or so, you said? Or? Uh, for the 9.7 inch, it's going to be a 279 ratio, 279. Okay, so 279, and then, um, so we've got 149 starting price, um, 199? Uh, 229. 229. Uh, 229 retail, 199 on that. Okay, and uh, for the single core. Oh. And this, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. okay, so single core pricing. Single core pricing for the 7 inch, it's going to be a 149, 129 on that. The uh, 8 inch is going to be a uh, 179, 149 on that. And also the 9.7 inch is going to be a uh, 229. 199 Okay, so some of the least expensive Android 4.0 tablets you can get and fairly responsive in terms of touch screen, uh, they have sensors. Uh, do they all have front and rear cameras or does this one just have a front uh, camera? The 8, the, the eight and 7 inch only have the front. The uh, 9.7 is going to have the front and back. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.